What's going on everybody? In this video, we're out here on one of our commercial projects and we're gonna walk you guys around and show you everything we've been working on for the past five, six, seven months and what we have coming up. This is a large commercial retail site or development. So as of right now, there's two buildings up and there's plans for up to five more buildings in the future. We're gonna walk you through, show you around this building and then we're gonna go show you the new one that we're starting up and what it looks like before any concrete has even been poured. So to start, let's go outside. So first thing we do on these projects is install a temporary power pole. So this temp pole is fed underground by this utility transformer. We install these so that we can have power as the building is going up before permanent power has actually been installed. So this SO cord here runs into the building and is distributed in a, in a spider box. <clears throat> so guys can plug in their tools or chargers, whatever. And uh, the project can actually be built with power tools. So that's usually the first thing we do. Um, this building, building five, <clears throat> is fed from this utility transformer. This is a 12,470 volt primary and a 208 120 uh, three phase secondary. So out of this utility transformer, we go underground in two four inch conduits and we come over here to our metered switchboard. So this is where the power is gonna be distributed between the tenants on the inside of the space. So I can open this up here and show you well, I can't show you much because <laughs> it's got to be covered. Um, this is where the utility comes in and lands in this switchboard. They come in on this side and they land on the busing in the back here. And from there, it's distributed over here to our stuff. Okay, so we have multiple meters here. One, two meters installed and the potential for two more, the opportunity to have two more. So this is where the power gets distributed and broken up. So the reason we have multiple meters is because those tenants that are gonna occupy the inside of the building don't wanna be billed on the same power bill. So the utility company and us put multiple meters in here so that each business can be billed separately from the other business, or each tenant can be billed separately from the other tenant. So in this case, we have a meter here, suite 100, and panel HP. And so this HP panel is actually for the house panel, and the house panel is feeding all of the exterior lighting, um, landscaping power, some of the parking lot pole lights and things like that. And this one will actually be divided between the two tenants, as in who's going to have to pay for it, or the landowner will pay that bill. And then these other meters will be for the tenants on the inside. So this is a 120 or a 208, 120 volt three phase power system. And this metered switchboard is rated for 800 amps. So more than enough power for whatever these two businesses might need in the future. Right here is where the house panel is mounted. And like I said, this is gonna distribute power um, to some of the exterior lighting, uh, landscape, power, recepts, whatever it is. Um, things that might be shared between the two tenants or things that are for the entire building are gonna to come to this house panel. And um, it's nothing fancy, just a few single pole 20 amp breakers in here and uh, more than enough for any of the house needs. Now we're gonna go inside and show you kind of what it looks like in there. But from here, we've gone underground inside the building already. So let's go take a look inside and I will explain kind of how that process works. So inside the building, um, we're just on the other side of the wall from that metered switchboard. So after the footing and foundation were poured, we ran conduit underground through the foundation and into the main space here. So there are conduits underground here still 
that are meant to feed this space and that space. So we're going to leave them buried. They're marked. Um, we're going to leave them buried. And when a tenant occupies the space, they will uncover them and then tie them in wherever the panel is going to be for their building. So as far as the vanilla shell goes, that's all we have to do is just get these conduits underground ready for whoever's going to occupy this space. Because as you can tell, there's no, there's no slab. We're just on gravel still. So they still have the opportunity to dig up and take that conduit wherever they need in this space. So as far as wiring for this building goes, um, there's not a lot going on. We have lights on the exterior of the building, some wall wash lights, some wall packs, and other things like that. And it's pretty straightforward. We come out of that house panel on the other side of that wall there next to the metered switchboard. And we have ran MC up the walls and we have distributed to all the different lights and recepts and, and whatever other needs might be for this building. So to rough this in, it only took us a couple days um, to get everything where it needed to be and get the, the, the lights in the right location and things like that. So it's pretty easy. There's not a ton going on here. Um, lighting is the big one. Making sure your lights are in the right spot, depending on what siding you have. Um, you got to make sure your, your lights are perfect so it looks good when it's finished. So <clears throat> other than that, there's, there is no power turned inside this space right now. Anything we have wired is, is for, for the exterior of the building. So it's kind of interesting, but that's how these vanilla projects go. Um, other than that, there's not a lot with these things. We obviously have to go through the inspection process like we normally would and get um, a rough -in inspection, get our gear, our meter switchboard and things like that inspected and then get a final inspection and make sure all the lights on the exterior and any power that we have out there works. And once it's finaled, this tenant space can be leased to a business and someone can come in and get their own engineered electrical drawings and uh, build it up from here. But we're not sure if we're gonna be the ones doing that or not. So that's just how it works with these uh, vanilla buildings. So that's it in here. That's, I mean, that's this building in a nutshell. There's not a lot going on. We have building five right here. And then if you can see out the window, um, there's building three over here. And the next one we have on deck is actually right between these two buildings and it's gonna be building four. So let's go outside and take a look at building four and we'll, we'll talk about where we're at with that one. Okay, so this is where building four is gonna be. As you can see, we have nothing in yet other than the uh, foundation has been dug and the concrete guys are getting ready to pour the footing and the foundation. So at this stage of the project, we really only have one thing to do and we're gonna show you. It's over here on the other side. So let's go take a look. What we have to do at this stage of the project, this is typically the very first thing we do other than maybe the temp power pole that we install. Um, for this specific building, we don't need a temp power pole because we have power over there and power over there, so we're good. But one of the, the first thing we do is we have to install a UFER ground wire in the footing of the building. So a UFER is going to be um, essential to the grounding system for this building. So what we do is first we figure out where it needs to be. The UFER is going to come up behind the metered switchboard so that once that switchboard is installed we can land inside there. So we need to know where it's going to be. We also need to know what size it's going to be. So in this case we have a number four bare copper that we're using. So when you install this you have to get it down here in the footing and it has to be encased in at least 20 feet of concrete. So we have to have 20 feet of this bare copper wire in the concrete, okay? So we've measured this out. We know our gear is gonna be about in this area and we have ran 20 feet or slightly more than 20 feet 
of bare copper and attached it to the rebar down in the footing. And we've left ourselves enough on the top here that we'll have plenty of length to get anywhere inside that switch gear that's gonna sit on the exterior of this building. So to attach this wire, we use steel tie wire and just attach it to the rebar every couple feet to make sure that when they pour that concrete, it's securely fastened and it's not gonna get shifted or move um, out of that concrete. So this is typically the first thing we do on most of these commercial projects. Obviously it depends on the project, but a ground up building like this, um, almost always we're gonna have a UFER in that building that we have to install. So that is typically the very first thing we do on any of these projects. The next thing that we're gonna work on on this building is gonna be some underground conduit. Like I was showing you in building five, we have to get some conduits um, through the foundation and over to where the switcher is gonna sit, which is actually gonna be right here. And we gotta get them inside so that eventually um, they can be hooked to for the tenants that are gonna go in the space. So that'll be one of the next things that we have coming up on this project. We're not quite ready for it yet. Um, and then there's also some conduits that are gonna run along the exterior as well uh, for who knows what, landscape power, uh, maybe some lighting. But there'll be a little bit of conduit running, running around the exterior here. So when they, when they dig it up for us, we'll get that installed. And after that, we gotta wait for them to frame and get the building dried in. And once that's done, we can come in and start pulling wire and getting this place going. Stay tuned for that stuff that's coming up. This is just a short, quick video. Wanted to give you guys an update of what we're working on. And uh, subscribe if you liked it. We're gonna have a lot more content like this coming out. We're gonna show you guys, we're gonna try and show you guys step by step what we do with these commercial projects that we work on. Uh, we're gonna have some really cool stuff coming up we're excited about. So please subscribe and uh, drop a comment and tell us what you wanna see. And, and uh, you know, if you're a Sparky or another tradesman, tell us where you're at and what you do. We, we, we respect it, we love it. So we appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one.